Hi, this is Josh Davis with uh, at free and llsocial.com. I posted a blog post about Follower Wonk, a free Twitter application I've been using and have been getting some interesting results from, and I wanted to provide a quick overview. If you want to read the full blog post, you can go to llsocial.com. Today we're going to be using uh, the at free account as the basis to log into Follower Wonk, as well as um, the data that we're going to be using when we try it out. So you just go to followerwonk.com. I've already entered that in here. And you go to the top right hand corner and you click sign in to Twitter. Um, because of the size of the screen capture, you might want to view this in the full screen. I use unsubscribe.com. It analyzes any Twitter application or Facebook application I'm going to use and gives me uh, access level and a caution. And I'm comfortable with Follower Wonk, so I'm just going to click continue. I'm going to authorize the app. and now I'm logged into Follower Wonk. In the top right hand corner you'll see I'm a non-subscriber which means I don't pay anything for Follower Wonk right now and you'll also see I have 319 credits. Follower Wonk's free um, for most uses but they do limit the number of searches you can do and pretty much everything in Follower Wonk requires credits so the credits refresh every two hours and I actually haven't run up into any limits at this point with normal usage so it shouldn't be an issue but it's possible if you use it frequently you might have to upgrade or wait between searches. So today we're going to compare users. So I go to that tab and click it. And we're going to be comparing three at free accounts. We're going to use at universa free, which is our student account. We're going to compare at free. And we're going to do our iPhone account, which is at, at free iPhone. And we're going to change it to compare um, their followers, so not who they're following. Click do it. I really like Follower Wonk, one, because of the data it provides, but two, it provides in a really nice interface. And an example of that is the Venn diagram they provide. Um, the orange circle is at universe of free followers, the green circle is at free followers, and the blue circle is at free iPhone followers. So the cool thing is it shows overlap, and as I talked about in the blog post, there's a number of uses just for this one feature, but one of them is identifying your super users, and you can see where all of the follower um, converge and you can also see the number. So 417 accounts follow all three of these accounts. So if you click on that it actually brings up those followers and it shows um, 50 a page. You can scroll down and a neat feature that's added to follower wonk is what they call the wonk score. So by clicking that twice I can sort by people who have the highest wonk score. And It's sort of equivalent to clout. They use some basic analytics to determine um, which accounts they think are most influential and then I can right click on any of these accounts and open it in Twitter and I can add it as a list, add it to a list or I can add that account and follow it. So that's a useful function. Another thing which I talk about in the blog post is that I really wanted, and the reason why I got into Follower Wonk is I wanted to determine the overlap between accounts. I knew a lot of the followers for the at free uh, account and at universal free overlap but I didn't know how many. And right here you can see the overlap, and the actual number is just under 3,000. So in actuality, at Universa Free actually has 7,000 unique followers. So what that tells me and why it's useful is if I have a really great free offer that applies to everybody, well, I might promote it, you know, list it on at free and tweet about it. I also want to make sure I tweet about it either with a regular Twitter retweet or with some modified retweet to the Universa Free account too, because there's enough people who don't follow both accounts that's actually useful um, to post on both of them. So that's an additional use. You can also get some detailed analytics, including your own wonk score, follow or follower numbers, how long you've been on their bio, and it gives you some kind of basic information here. It's pretty useful. Um, the overlap alone provides a lot of features, which I talk about in the blog post. So if you're interested in learning about more about it, definitely go to llsocial.com and check out the full blog post, and you can see the different uses. But I'm definitely enjoying Follower Wonk, and I think most people who are active on Twitter can find a use for it.